I'm Zebu, and I run the only post office in Ranamafana. I make it my business to know everything about everyone in this national park. So, if you want to know how Mr. Lemur became the most famous literary lemur in the world, well, you've come to the right place. Now you just sit down and I'll tell you all about it. Mr. Lemur is a ring-tailed lemur from Ranamafana National Park in southeastern Madagascar, whose life changed forever during a family vacation. While playing hide-and-go-seek with a bunch of other lemurs, Mr. Lemur found a really good hiding place aboard a ship in the harbor. Unfortunately, this time he hid too well and fell asleep, waiting to be found. The young lemur only woke up when the ship started sailing full speed out to sea. Can you imagine? Luckily, one night he found an old journal and began to write to keep himself entertained. Who knows how long he was on that ship? He had never been on a boat before, so he didn't realize how far he had gone. It turns out that the ship had gone a long way. Eventually, the ship docked in California in the port of Oakland across the bay from San Francisco. But he had no idea where he was. Poor Mr. Lemur was so confused, he hopped on a southbound bus, hoping it would take him home. After being chased off the bus, a family of raccoons led him to the home of Mr. and Mrs. Branner, a retired French teacher and her husband, a writer. Mrs. Branner opened the door and saw a little lemur scared cold and hopeless, she took him inside, accidentally leaving his journal by the door. The Branners knew they couldn't keep him, but gave him a warm bed for the night. The next morning, as they carried Mr. Lemur out the door, Mrs. Branner found the journal. Through written notes, Mr. Lemur introduced himself and told them his great dream to, of becoming a writer. But right then, all he wanted to do was to go home and see his family in Ranamafana. Boy, was he lucky. It just so happened that the Branners were planning a trip around the world that ended in Africa. So Mr. Lemur stayed with them until the trip, and they helped him to develop his skills as a writer. Six months later, it was finally time to set out for the long journey home. But before he could get to Ranamafana, Mr. Lemur traveled around seven other amazing countries, discovering new cultures and languages along the way. He received a lot of instruction from the Branners over his time with them, and it launched him into his writing career. So there you have it. From an accidental stowaway to the world-famous author, Mr. Lemur's life has been one wild adventure after another. And fortunately for us, He's not done yet.